it's finally time to decompress. Hi guys, my name is Martina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Portugal on a vacation and in a few days I'm gonna be in Italy. I'm here because for my 18th birthday, my mom let me pick a country that I wanted to go to in Europe and I picked Italy and then my stepdad was like, okay, well what if I tag along and we can also go to Portugal because he loves Portugal. So that's what we're doing. The commute to get here was horrible. Last night we get to the airport, there's some issues with my parents' vaccination records, which resulted in my mom having to pay like $200 for a COVID test because her vaccines were past expiration and she doesn't have her booster. Then we get onto the plane and the girl in front of me reclines her seat all the way back for the entire flight until the flight attendant was literally like, shoddy, you gotta lift it up. I didn't sleep at all, pulled an all-nighter, slept for like a few minutes. I'll give myself that. We get to Portugal, finally, and the taxi driver was super sweet, he came picked us up, but the apartment wasn't ready yet, so we had like two hours to kill, we got food, we walked around a little bit, it was boiling hot, I hadn't like changed or anything yet, and I was still wearing airport clothes, which like, if you travel, you know that you always wear like a sweater and leggings, so not ideal for the weather that we have here right now. After that, we finally got into the apartment, my whole family took a nap, we went grocery shopping, and my parents are now perusing the streets of Lisbon while I'm relaxing because truthfully, I am exhausted. I'm also sick, which is not ideal. So I want to stretch, I want to shower, I want to eat, so that tomorrow is better. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna show you guys the apartment. There is a master bedroom, a kitchen, this chair, the bathroom, which is a classic European bathroom, meaning the toilet is separate from the rest of it, and then the living room, with the most amazing view. There was people outside before, so I didn't want to film them. They're still there. And it's only on the third floor, but it's actually very high up. Meaning these stairs are a pain in our- Welcome to my first voiceover. I apologize for my congested voice. I'm still battling what my mom and I believe is a sinus infection. Anyways, our trip was five days long. The sidewalks here are super slippery, which was unfortunate because I did not get to debut my platforms. This was one of our very first stops. It was where we bought our passes that gave us access to public transportation and some attractions. This scooter right here is one of the most embarrassing inventions ever. Next up, we have this statue and fountain, which basically served as center points to the city. Now onto the landmarks that we visited. But before we get into those, I would like to, in advance, apologize for my pronunciation of some of these landmarks. I do not speak Portuguese, thus I am sorry. The first place we visited was this church, and although I don't remember the exact name of it, one of the really cool things about Catholic churches across Europe is that they are generally very lavish. Second was the Carmo Archaeological Museum. What's really neat about this place is that it sits in the ruins of the old Church of Santa Maria do Carmo, which was founded in 1389 by D. Nuno Alvarez Pereira until the earthquake of 1755, which caused major damage. Its reconstruction was both started and halted until the foundation of the Portuguese Civil Architects Association by Joaquim Posidonio da Silva, which formed it into what it is today. Third was the Santa Justa Lift. Fourth 
fourth was the Yeronimos Monastery in Belem. Fifth was the statue of Vasco da Gama, also in Belém. Sixth was the Park and National Palace of Pena in Sintra. Near it was our seventh and last, which was the upcoming Moorish Castle. And for those of you that are interested in this sort of thing, I will be leaving links to descriptions about these places in the description, in case you would like to read more. Cue the 2013 Visco Girl montage. Side note, these are called Yakaranda trees and they only bloom twice a year, so we made it in season. Portuguese cuisine is predominantly seafood, and this is some mediocre cremele I had. I did a lot of shopping, but my favorite was at Brandy Melville, which I was very excited about because I knew to expect it in Rome since the brand is founded by an Italian man. But I did know that it was also in Lisbon, and I was having a really rough day. I was on my walk home, I was just going to walk through the city a little bit. I saw it and took it as a sign, went shopping, 10 out of 10 experience. I'm not going to film what I bought just because the majority of it is packed away since I'm still on vacation, and some of it I've already put to use, but you guys will be seeing it somewhere sometime soon. This is me on my flight to Italy. I was still very sick and uncomfortable, but thankfully I found some great sinus medication here. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic start to your summer vacation. To all of my college friends, I miss you guys dearly. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.